I'm Dr. Mary Daly, a medical oncologist and chair of the Department of Clinical Genetics at the Fox Chase Cancer Center. In 2009, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force issued new guidelines for screening mammography for average risk women in the United States. Because these guidelines differ considerably from the guidelines that they had previously published in 2002, we have been receiving a lot of questions at Fox Chase Cancer Center about how to interpret them. Unlike the previous guidelines, which recommended starting screening at age 40, the new task force guidelines recommend not starting until age 50. And because a lot of people know women under the age of 50 who've had breast cancer, we've received a lot of questions about what to do in that age range, women between the ages of 40 and 49. The studies that the guidelines are based on actually showed a similar reduction in mortality from breast cancer across all age groups, including women in the 40 to 49 year age range. And in addition to that, we know that breast cancer, when it does occur in this younger age range, often tends to be more aggressive, to grow faster, to be less responsive to some of our treatments, and therefore we consider it to be more of a threat when it occurs at this young age. This is particularly true for African American women who, when diagnosed at an early age, tend to have a very, very aggressive course. Because of this, we at Fox Chase continue to recommend starting screening at age 40. Although the data that the new recommendations are based on really show the same benefit in survival from breast cancer as the earlier data showed, the recommendations are now citing the problem of risks associated with mammography as a reason for cutting back on the number of mammograms and advancing the age at which mammograms should begin. Among the risks that they talk about are finding abnormal mammographic areas that need additional imaging, bringing women back for additional films which might cause anxiety or stress. Some small percentage of those women may actually need to have a biopsy showing that their lesion on mammogram was not cancer but some other benign lesion and therefore resulting in, quote, unnecessary biopsies. And then there's a third category of risks that they talk about, something called overdiagnosis, meaning that we may be identifying and diagnosing and treating breast cancer that if left undiagnosed and untreated may not have proven clinically important. Of course, if there were a way for us to know ahead of time which women were going to have clinically significant and clinically benign breast cancer, we would all like such a test so that we could spare women the, the ordeal of screening, diagnosis, and long-standing treatment for breast cancer. But everyone agrees that currently there is no such test, and so we have no way of identifying ahead of time those women who might be overdiagnosed. The report from the task force did acknowledge that the, the likelihood is that the majority of women who might be overdiagnosed are elderly women with other comorbid medical problems which limit their lifespan so that even if they're diagnosed with breast cancer at that age, they may be actually dying from some of their other medical problems. And they were actually very circumspect about making recommendations for screening in the older age group, older being over the age of 75. And here we think at Fox Chase is where a clinical judgment and patients' decision making come into play. If a woman is over the age of 75 and otherwise perfectly healthy and has a, a long lifespan anticipated, then certainly we would recommend to continue screening mammography. One of the questions that I've been receiving a lot is well, because the report is based on reductions in breast cancer mortality, which have been demonstrated in numerous studies across all age groups, one of the questions that I'm receiving a lot is, well, what about breast cancer morbidity or the fact that finding breast cancer at an earlier stage by more regular mammographic screening might mean less aggressive treatment? Since screening mammograms started to be performed on an annual basis several years ago, we've seen a downstaging of breast cancer from invasive breast cancer to a larger and larger fraction of what we call in situ breast cancer or cancer that has not yet invaded surrounding tissue. 
in situ to breast cancer and even the very early stages of invasive breast cancer often require much less treatment and much less aggressive treatment. And some women are, for instance, spared having to have a mastectomy. They may be able to have a lumpectomy instead. And many women are spared having to go through months of very traumatic chemotherapy. So although the task force didn't address the benefit of morbidity, we at Fox Chase feel this is a strong reason for continuing to recommend annual mammographic screening.